<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bobble in frame. Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running and I'm here in the freezing cold Peak District with Victoria Mosley, who has been testing lightweight trail running jackets for Wild Ginger Running YouTube channel. So, um, Vicky, tell us a bit more about where you've been wearing them. So I was sent these jackets um, in August and then was praying for the rain to come and it did. Um, and I've been testing these in a variety of locations uh, around near where I live, um, up in Lancashire, on the fells, uh, testing them out in races uh, and training in the chucking rain. So I'd look outside, it was absolutely pouring it down and I'd be like, yay, I can get to go out my waterproof jackets and test them. So yeah, loads of testing's taken place with these in all different conditions, running in warm weather when it's raining and now in the freezing weather <laughs> uh, to give you a good review of um, what all the main features are and how they all work. Fantastic, well, let us look at the first jacket then. This is the Ultimate Direction Ultra jacket. Uh, it retails at £160, uh, but we found it online today at £112 uh, and it weighs 190 grams. This is a size small and um, is quite a perfect fit for me. I'm sort of a size 8-ish to 10. Um, it's one of the larger jackets in the size small. It has full length zip. Uh, rather than a smock type fitting and it also has an inside pocket here just a mesh pocket uh, where you can put anything that you might need but that isn't considered a waterproof pocket <laughs> it has these amazing little cuffs which unroll uh, to stop your hands getting cold and wet um, I really liked these and when I was running, I can just get them on, <laughs> I've got gloves on today. When I was running with these, I did really like them and they did really help to keep my hands warm. But what I did find is that they're ever so slightly short so that when I'm running, uh, I kind of had to hold my arms back a little bit. So I could just do with them being a centimetre or so longer so that I can stretch my arm out um, when I've got these on. But they were a good feature and I did use them when it started raining to keep my hands warm. This jacket has a cord at the waist where you can pull it in some of the jackets in the lightweight test didn't have this um, and i actually really like this feature i find it quite useful for me also if i get too hot and i want to take the jacket off i find that the waistband stops it from rolling down my legs which is useful the hood on this jacket was one of my favorite in the test um, it's got a really effective hood a really nice peaked mm -hmm. hood might affect the microphone there. <laughs> it's got a really nice hood and again it's got drawstrings here where you can pull the hood in really tight and get a nice fit against the elements and the hood has a uh, you can adjust it as well you can bend it in uh, to suit you. So I ran in this jacket quite a lot when I was running in it in warm weather with shorts on I found that I did get quite hot inside um, if it was only mild rain then I think um, Claire's said in her videos before that really, if you don't need a waterproof jacket on, you, you will just get too hot inside. So in light rain, I found that I did sweat quite a bit inside and my t-shirt was quite damp afterwards. I've used this in quite heavy rain also and the water didn't so much bead off it, but I did feel reasonably dry inside. There are limitations on these jackets and breathable and waterproof kind of contradict each other. So you might be sweating inside so when you take your jacket off, it feels like you're wet, but it's not necessarily from coming inside the jacket, but rather from you inside. Really lovely jacket, this one. I really liked it, really comfy to wear. And it's one that I used biking and running uh, and found it really good. So this is the Arm Halo jacket and it retails at £126. That's what we found it for online today. And it weighs 127 grams. Um, so this is a, a women's size small. Um, I originally was sent the extra small, which was a little bit too tight. So I sent it back and got a different size. So it's a little bit smaller fitting uh, than some of the other jackets in the test in a size small. It's a relatively short jacket at the front here, uh, not quite as long as some of the others, but it does dip at the back and you've got a slightly longer tail at the back to keep your bottom dry, which was quite nice. Um, this jacket feels uh, more of a sort of uh, traditional feel of a waterproof jacket and inside it um, the material can feel quite cold um, on your skin so I found with this one I always had to wear a long sleeved uh, top in order to feel comfortable inside. It has a full length zip and it has two pockets um, that are really good at keeping things dry they're really well sealed pockets 
and it also has two drawstrings on the waist, one on each side here. It also has thumb holes so that when you're running, you can put your thumb through and it keeps the jacket as a nice fit. And I found that these uh, were the perfect length, even when running, they had quite a nice lot of um, room in there for you. And they've also got elasticated cuffs there as well. The hood on this jacket, I found to be a really nice fit. <laughs> You look like a giant pink sperm. Oh, yeah. I know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look <laughs> the greatest, but actually um, it's a really nice fit uh, and does help to keep the wind and the rain off your head here. Uh, but it doesn't have the peak like some of the other jackets do in the test. Um, I've worn this one quite a lot. And if it was raining very heavily outside, I would tend to pick this one uh, quite a lot. And I also found that with it being such a bright color, I picked it on the bike quite a lot as well because um, it is very much um, one that you can be seen in quite a lot. So yeah, um, really windproof and really waterproof. But as I said, it does feel quite cold on your skin inside. And if you're running with a t-shirt, you will sweat quite a lot on your arms um, and that can make you feel quite damp inside with this, with this one also. So this is the Solomon S-Lab Gore-Tex Shake Dry Jacket that retails at £300. Uh, we haven't found it anywhere else uh, at that price other than Solomon.com. That's the only place we seem to be able to purchase this jacket from. It weighs 133 grams and this is a ladies size small. This jacket um, is quite different in design to some of the others. Um, and I'll start with one of the features that sort of set this out a little bit. At the bottom, it has like a, um, a skirt, I suppose you would call it. Um, and it sort of press studs here. And the idea is that, I'll show you in a second, you can take the jacket off when you get too hot and you can roll it down into the skirt and it kind of acts like a, a bum bag, if you like. The material of this one is quite unusual. I have been told by people when I've been wearing this that it looks like a bin bag. It has a full length zip all the way down to where the skirt is here. And then it also has this great little popper here, which means that you can unzip the jacket if you get too hot uh, and it doesn't flap around quite so much. And I do quite like that feature. Um, there are no pockets in this jacket, um, but what it does have is it has, the idea is built into the back of this jacket that you can wear it over a backpack. Um, but I found for me, there wasn't quite enough room to do that in this size. I'd have to buy a size up um, in order to do that properly. The hood on this jacket is an interesting design um, and it has what we can only describe as a, a hood bra. So it has this little sort of halo, I think they call it halo, but we like hood bra. It has this little halo that you try to put over your head to make the hood sit. I find it quite difficult and that maybe with a ponytail, I can't run with the hood up on this jacket. Um, it pulls too tightly and it's not comfortable. Um, so yeah, the hood's a bit of a bit of a problem for me on this one. Perhaps if I didn't have a ponytail or, you know, much hair, I would find it more comfortable. The cuffs on this one are half elasticated. Um, so you get a reasonably tight fit uh, from the cuffs around here, but not as tight as some of the others in the test. Again, I've worn this one uh, quite a lot and felt dry inside. I have worn this in quite heavy rain. I remember one particular day was absolutely throwing it down and I did feel quite dry in this one, uh, providing the temperature is cool enough and you're not sweating inside, then it will keep you reasonably dry. This is the Innovate Race Shell and it costs £129 and it weighs 85 grams. Uh, this is a ladies size 8 um, and fits perfectly. Um, I'll talk you through some of the features of this jacket. So as you can see, it is quite see-through uh, and this reason is so that you can wear a race number underneath and your race number can be seen through the jacket so you don't need to be unzipping it and things like that. Um, as you'll notice, it only has a half zip, so this is a smock type jacket, the only one in our test. And the zip will go all the way up, creating quite a snug fit at the neck. And you can unzip this one for ventilation also. 
It has elasticated cuffs to give you a snugger fit around the wrist, just half elasticated there. And it doesn't have um, a tie string at the waist, but it does have a little bit of elastic here. Uh, so there's a little bit of tightness there in the jacket. Uh, fit wise, it's comfy to wear. Um, it's really nice to run in. Uh, there's no restriction there. Um, and it's very much a race style waterproof. Um, if I was racing an ultra and I expected it to rain all day, I wouldn't necessarily pick this one. Uh, I'd want one that was slightly more heavy duty but any race that I was doing, it meets FRA requirements and I'd have this in my bag uh, if I needed a waterproof jacket. Um, it's brilliant for running in. I reach for it an awful lot because it is so light. I can stick it in a pocket and I can roll it up if I don't need it. When it's tied around my waist, I don't even notice that I've got it on. Um, and I found it to be really good against the elements and it's really comfy to wear. It's a really soft material uh, that feels nice against the skin also. So you can wear a t-shirt under this one if you wish to. The hood on this jacket is a really good fit. Uh, it's a tight fit and it does protect quite well against the elements and it does have a little bit of adjustment on the peak here uh, with a little bit of bending to make sure that the water doesn't get in. Um, one of the problems with this jacket um, is that because there is no tie on the waist, um, it does tend to waft up and you can get water obviously up there when it's wafting about in the wind. And the same with the cuffs also, because they're only half elasticated, you don't get a particularly snug fit with those and water can make its way into this jacket and, and you can feel a little bit damp if it's raining very, very heavily. This is the Montaigne Minimus jacket that retails at £160 and it weighs 157 grams. This is a ladies size small and is quite a generous and um, small fit, I would say, probably one of the bigger jackets in the test that we've done. And I'll take you through the features. Um, I love the colour of this jacket. It's one of the things that I really like about it. It's bright, you can be seen in it and I do really like this jacket for that reason also. It has a full length zip and is the only one that comes with the um, flap behind the zip and the popper at the bottom also to try and uh, protect from water getting in on the zip, which is often a weak point on jackets. It also has a, a pocket here, um, which can obviously put things in whilst you're running. It's big enough for a phone. Personally, I wouldn't run with a phone here because I find it uncomfortable, but the option is there if you wish. So it has um, Velcro cuffs. Uh, which is really good, meaning that you can get the fit required uh, for your own wrist here. And if you're wearing watches, obviously you can accommodate for that also, which is great. Um, it has ties at the waist on both sides so that you can pull the jacket in and get the required fit, especially when it's windy and particularly wet to stop water making its way into the jacket. Um, this jacket has a lovely hood with a really, really good peak. It's a really nice fit and it's also got the drawstrings here so that you can adjust it and make it a great fit for your head. And it also has one on the hood, meaning that you can pull the jacket in to fit nice and close to your face against the wind and the elements. This is a really comfy jacket to run in with lots of space. Um, it's quite a nice uh, material. It's not particularly noisy when you're running. It's quite a soft material. The first one I was sent of this jacket, I actually had a bit of an issue with the waterproofing. Um, it didn't seem to be as waterproof as I expected it to be. And I sent it back. Uh, Montaigne were great and replaced it straight away. And this one is much better. If you get a jacket and you feel it's not working properly, it's good to know that you've got that option to return it and the manufacturer will make sure that everything's working properly. I've worn this one a lot running and I've also worn this one quite a lot on the bike as well. And I found it to be really comfortable and really good against the elements. Um, a little bit like uh, one of the other ones, on your arms it can feel quite cold as nearly all waterproof jackets can, uh, so you generally want to wear a long sleeve top if you're running with a waterproof on. Um, this one stood up pretty well against um, heavy rain, but I did find in this one that when I was sweating, because I was working hard, um, I did feel quite damp inside, but that's probably more of a sweat and breathability rather than the jacket not being waterproof.
So this is the Ron Hill Mountain Equipment Gore-Tex Shake Dry Jacket, um, which we found online at £211, although the retail price I think is about £250, um, and it weighs 133 grams. This is a ladies size 8 jacket. Um, it is quite similar to the Solomon jacket in terms of the material, uh, which is what we reviewed earlier. So you can have a look at that one also. Uh, this one in terms of features, in terms of the fit, it is quite a loose fit around the bottom uh, because it doesn't have any waist ties to pull the jacket in. Um, so a little bit like some of the others we've looked at, it's just got a little bit of elasticated uh, at the side but it does mean it's a little bit flappy uh, when you're running in it. It's a good fit, there's lots of movement in there and there's no restriction when I'm running. This one has little thumb loops here uh, to allow the jacket to stay in place um, if you are running. And the cuffs are partly elasticated to try and give you a snugger fit, but as you can see, uh, there is quite a gap on my wrist with this one. Um, it has a full length zip and it has a flat ball so behind to try and keep the water out and it has a popper uh, so that you can have this fastened get ventilation into the jacket without it flapping around it also has a pocket at the side here and i think it says in there that it's uh the pockets on this garment are not waterproof uh, but it is it's pretty good at keeping things dry to be honest the hood on this jacket is similar uh, to the Solomon one, but doesn't have the uh, halo inside. So again, it's quite a snug fit and not the most attractive look. <laughs> um, so it fits to the head. It doesn't have any pink. So water does hit you uh, straight in the face with this sort of jacket and you're not very protected from the wind in it, uh, but it does give quite a snug fit. This one has a tag on the back to enable you to pull the hood um, closer to your head to get that snug fit and i find that this one doesn't have an issue with the ponytail it's got a bit more room inside so <laughs> i've used this one in quite heavy rain um, and i found it to be really really good against the elements um, it's incredibly lightweight so it's easy to take with you to stick in a bag or a pocket something like that um, and i found that i i'm really comfortable in this one running in heavy downpours um, one criticism for me is the color um, i wouldn't want an all black jacket i prefer something with a bit more color and despite the material being really really good against the elements it is quite crinkly and a little bit noisy and again people have told me it looks a little bit like a bin bag <laughs> uh, but this is the ron hill mountain equipment shake dry gore-tex jacket so this is the verdict on our lightweight waterproof jackets and um, if i had to pick it's not as straightforward as some of the other tests that we've done i would pick the features of the ultimate direction jacket i love the mitts i love the fit of this jacket and the hood of this jacket i think is absolutely brilliant but i would want the material of the gore-tex that solomon and the innovate jacket both have if I was racing, then it would be the Innovate race shell jacket that I would pick if I had to carry this with me and race. And I would also prefer the colours of these two jackets as well. <laughs> so it's not an easy test, this one. Features of all of them that I loved and criticisms of every single one of them also. Um, so there you go, that's your verdict. The colours on the bright coloured jackets I think are particularly important um, if you're running on the hills and things like that and you want to be seen, uh, you want people to be able to see you, cars to be able to see you if you're wearing jackets on roads or in evenings especially over winter, usually evenings in winter are when you need your waterproof jackets more, um, you know running after work and things like that in winter it's going to rain more so for me personally having them in black isn't the best idea. Oh, damn it. We need to oh, go back. Do we need to go back or do we need to just squat? Should we just squat? Squat. <laughs> it puts it the cuts, yeah, cuts your load, Oh, it? I know. We can just go like this. Just like splay out like <laughs> that way. instead of crouching. <laughs> it looks like you're taller than it me does. now. It does. It's great. It's, I've never told anybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just need to get your bobble in frame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running and I'm here with Victoria Mosley in... Is that your name? Is it Mosley? Yeah, yeah Mosley's right. <laughs> it's a wrap. Cool.